so good morning my strictly lovely how are you guys doing this morning hope all is well pray all is well y'all excuse me the weather is changing i just got done brewing me some water so i can make me some honey you know what i'm saying i put a little bit of peppermint up in there i got a little sore throat um if you hear my daughter up in there coughing Please, please, please excuse that. Like, we done rub ourselves down with Vic Vapor Rub, Rub Tussin, Honey, all of that stuff. And you know what, y'all? I'm just, I'm not sick. But when you are a spiritual healer, we don't believe in sickness. Um, like, if you get it, like, if you feel like you're having a sore throat, okay? warm hot water put some honey in there peppermint um sage whatever do it the organic way all right and um just know that you are ascending you are not sick so i just want to put that out there good morning good morning good morning my strictly lovely Hope you guys brought a friend to bring a friend to get this motivational word, okay, to inspire you for the rest of your day, for the rest of your guys' life. So let's tap in, okay? Let's tap in. Let's see what we are focusing on with the tiger eye as a light seer, okay? As a light seer. Um, these cards are by Chris Annie. So if you guys are interested in um, this deck, um, please order it off Amazon. So let's get into the read for today. Put it down, mommy. Put put my cards down. Put it down. Put it down. No. Don't tell me no. 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 You you don't tell me no. You supposed to agree and say yes, ma'am. Miracle. Come say hey. Say hey, you guys. All right, y'all. Let's see what Holy Spirit has for us. Holy Spirit, what do you have for my collective? As a messenger, what what is it that they need to know? Well, this came out in reverse. Um, the tower. Let's see what the tower is talking about in reverse, as well as the um, page of swords upright. This tower. That was sixteen. Stop, ma. Come here. Come here. Come around. Come around. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can sit down. You can sit down. Or you can get out. I don't have time for you this morning like that. Don't do that. Miracle, nobody don't care if you mad. I'm upset. Most of every freaking day. Okay, here goes the tower. Well, for some of you guys, um, Spirit said life is becoming stale for you guys because you are refusing to change. Um, you fear of the unknown and you avoiding a disaster and you are denial. Go sit down. Bye. Hold on, y'all. Come on. All right, I want you guys to stay focused on the message. Um, I'm going to read the light seers um, upright for this tower. Um, you guys can expect, un you, can guys, you guys can um, expect unexpected changes, chaos, the rug pull from beneath your feet, okay? Um, your belief are challenged. Um, 
you have new awareness and perspective um destructions it's it's becoming an end and everything is being unsure of who you are so if you are feeling that way upright just know just know unexpected changes are coming what is this page of swords let me get more into this mm. page of swords Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Five, King Cup. Right. Okay, this page of Swords upright is restless energy. Sorry about that, you guys. It is restless energy, curiosity, a thirst for information, learning new things, and um, apparentis, apparentis or student, intellectual pursuits, ideals, and reasoning, a messenger, okay? If you can see it that way within your life, um, because you have unexpected changes. And one of the unexpected changes can be that you are learning new things, okay? You have a thirst for information. For others, the tower is saying your life is becoming stale because you are refusing to change. You fear the unknown and you are avoiding a disaster. Avoiding a disaster. You are being in denial. You are being at, um, your arrogance, arrogance, okay? You are gossiping. You are nervous. You have this nervous energy. Being all talk and no action. You are dishonest. What is the outcome of this? Because I feel like me personally, this tower is an end to a new beginning. Four, okay, just, you know, four for the Page of Swords as a messenger. You know, the thirst for knowledge as a teacher for my collective. You know what I'm saying? I can't just stay on the negative side of what you had to end because of your anger. Um, if you was stubborn, if you didn't want to learn, it's still going to come to an end regardless. Whether you learn from it or not, you just going on to another stage. So if you still have that same mentality, carry on, that's, that's all up to you. What is the outcome, Holy Spirit? The outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. So, like I said, that ending for some of my collective, the ending to that new beginning, and baby, you done self-talk, talk yourself, okay, curiosity killed the cat, and now you the queen of pentacles. Your self-taught knowledge, okay, bright ideas, is bringing in wealth, stability, is bringing in um, you being grounded, you know what I'm saying? I can read this for you guys real quick before everything cut off but that's how I feel all right okay the queen of pentacle like you done heal you did the work a working parent a self-made person material wealth in abundance strength and family and community and kind in nurturing heart groundedness being down to earth and you are generous okay for the ones who are not okay you are in a financial stress being self-absorbed okay you are smothering or others codependent energy okay you will helicopter parenting over indulging work home imbalance and materialism so please get in order do heal self teach yourself something Okay, teach yourself to like, comment, and subscribe. Support other people so you can get the same thing in return. If this reading resonated with you guys, please like and give it a thumbs up. All right, if not, disregard the rest. And I will be back with another read. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day.